what's an indie game? It looks like a simple question on the surface, but trust me, it's got layers. Feel back the layers and you found a surprising, complex discussion about creativity, freedom, and breaking the mold of traditional game development. Before we explore why is an indie, let's first nail down the what is an indie. An indie game, to me, is one made by a small, often self-published team without the big studio backing. Laura Parker, a game dev expert, says it's all about creating games on your own terms without publishers calling the shots. But hold on, even the definition gets a bit blurry. Games like Journey and Bastion had some major support, but they still feel indie because of their creative freedom. And then there's The Witness, self-funded by Jonathan Blow, with a higher price tag than most indie games. Even No Man's Sky, backed by Sony, keeps its indie spirit thanks to a small team. So what really makes a game indie? It's all about independence, plain and simple. Financial independence, where devs found their own projects, or creative independence, where they can experiment and innovate without limitations. This often leads to a unique gameplay and sometimes a retro vibe, paying homage to classic 8-bit and 16-bit eras. Ultimately, an indie game feels both financially and creatively free. Jesper, a video game market guru, adds even more depth to this discussion. He says financial independence, unique aesthetics, and presenting different cultural ideas compared to mainstream games are all part of the indie equation. But Jesper also reminds us that labeling a game indie can be subjective and personal. As the indie world grows, new terms pop up. Triple I and Double A games occupy the middle ground, made by mid sized studios, independent or not, sometimes with publisher backing. They blend some Triple A elements with creative freedom. The world of indie games is a diverse, vibrant one. There's no size fits all definition. While financial independence from big studios and publishers is a key factor, it's so much more than that. So, what's an indie game to you? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep this conversation going. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this exploration of indie games, hit that like button and subscribe for more. And speaking of indie, I'm inspired to create one myself. So my next video, I will be making a tutorial on how to build your own indie game. So I will see you there.